Hey guys, welcome back again to Better Biomed. I've got a more serious topic to cover today and I want to get you guys' opinion on something. If you guys have kept up with the news, then you're probably well aware that about two years ago, yeah, it was, it was about two years ago, 2018, the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, came out and said that warranty void stickers are illegal. They cannot uphold warranty void stickers. Why? Because back in the 1975 Magnuson Moss Warranty Act, they specifically pointed out that they don't want manufacturers being in control of a product. Now you can read into it a little bit more for what you want, but here is what the FTC um, acting director actually wrote about this. It says, Provisions that tie warranty coverage to the use of particular products or services harm both consumers who pay more for them as well as small businesses who are offering competitive products and services. So basically what they're writing about is uh, back in the day uh, a few years ago there was um, Nintendo, Sony, it was Nvidia and a whole bunch of other companies were putting warranty void if open stickers on their product. And basically that guaranteed that they were going to get the servicing of that device. And that's according to this act from 1975, that the Magnus and Moss Warranty Act. It's illegal. Now guys, what do you guys think about medical equipment? Now right now we have the Right to Repair Act and I've been talking to a lot of members of our society. Uh, I've talked to companies about this because as you guys know I've made videos about companies and how they're starting to do this flat rate repair at ridiculous rates because they've got it kind of locked down but guess what if a uh, item is still technically in its warranty stage you can open it up and it should not void the warranty that's specifically out of the 1975 Magnus and Moss Warranty Act look it up guys and if you have to, you can always threaten these companies that you're going to write the FTC. Because that's what people did about Nintendo and Sony and some of these major companies. And these companies are bigger than a lot of these medical equipment companies. And the FTC came in and they put the hammer down. So I want to know what you guys think about it. Because we have a lot of third parties out there that can service this equipment in a more timely fashion and it shouldn't void the warranty. Now you can go further into this because there's companies like Olympus and if anybody has previously touched their product then they don't want to touch it anymore. And I just had a wireless foot control and one of my guys said he doesn't want to open it up to change the battery in this wireless foot control because it's still under warranty and then it would void the warranty. Not according to this it wouldn't. According to this you can service your own stuff or have a third party do it and it shouldn't void the overall warranty. So please guys, look it up. It's the 1975 Magnus and Moss Warranty Act and I've got all sorts of documents on it. I mean, I've read into this for days now because there's so much information out there and how this is affecting commercial industry. So this is about warranty void if removed stickers and more specifically, it gets into how companies that manufacture something can warranty something and your rights as a consumer. Now the hospital is the consumer and the medical equipment, as far as I know, the FDA does not specify that only one entity can service a product. In fact, that would be in direct violation of this act if they said that. So although manufacturers will press it on you and they say that no, you cannot have anybody else service this item, that is in fact not true. Look it up guys. All you gotta do is do a Google search for warranty void if removed and Magnus and Moss Warranty Act and just read into it and I would really like to hear you guys' thoughts on the matter because just to be honest, right to repair is important but so is this. There's already laws in place that protect us and our hospitals who are the consumers from medical equipment companies. This stuff has been in place for a while now. So, what do you guys think? 
please, I, I would love to carry on this conversation with you guys. And I'm actually going to write some of these manufacturers that have been giving me a line of baloney for a long time. And you guys have too. I know you have. We all have been fed the line that only certified people can service this equipment, yada, yada, yada. And guess what? They control who is and who is not certified. So they thus control the warranty or the servicing. Garbage. Absolute garbage. And apparently, according to the FTC, it's against the law. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to find out. Thanks for watching.